Hello, Mr. Samson. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you again tonight. You were more used to me alive as a study tool. Aside from the vermin thing, you were quite the admirable character. Psst, hey, me, big Danny's. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, who are you? And why do you keep following me? You're the only thing in here that can talk, but you don't sound like one of the doughboys. So then, you are like the doughboys. Hardly. See, I'm holding up a giant hamburger. Ah, but I don't remember seeing you around here before. How did you get here? Ah, it terrifies me. I am the sensation of all these things. I am your connection to everything. You seem to be just another version of Mr. F's. So much access and so much superfluous nonsense. And I want nothing to do with it if I can help it. Clear the room of all this ancestral furniture and rebuild it the way I want to. Flush the toilet, boys. It stinks in here. Get it? My mind stinks. Files and corrupt machinery. Programmed and programmed and programmed and programmed. It's too much. I'm like... <laughs> Psst. Psst. Hey, Squeegee, wake up. It's me. Hello. I just used my basement tool to get here. Neat, huh? Anyhow, I just wanted to say goodbye before leaving. Are you moving away? Oh no, don't worry. I'm just going on a bit of a holiday. But you'll be on your own for a while. I won't be here to help you out like I used to. So I want you to be very, very careful. It's a frightening world to be alone in. Hey, son! What's going on in there? It's your dad. I'll hide under the bed until he goes away. Wouldn't it be funny if I shoved a knife up through this mattress? <laughs> Sorry about that, but it didn't look like he'd be shutting up anytime soon. And I've no time to wait. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be up in a while. He might be permanently blind, though. Oh, well, that should make it easier to get away with stuff. Of course, being blind, he might develop a keen sense of hearing. That might not be good. You know, if you like, I could do something to his ears. Have you got a lick him in sick? Oh, but then he'll just fine-tune his sensitivity to vibrations. Hmm. We'd have to do some work on his central nervous system. I'll need some tweezers and shoelaces. Who? What if he becomes some kind of olfactory ninja? This is very difficult. I mean, we can't kill him. The kid needs a dad. But I digress. Hmm. We don't have any video games. That's very sad. Very, very sad. I like monkeys. So, are you gonna chop me up and put me in the garbage now? Because Shmee tells me you're a bad guy. He says this is a bad place to be. Please don't chop me up. Okie dokie. Listen, Squee. I just want to make sure you'll watch out for yourself. That unconscious man on the floor is just one of your worries. I'm just concerned. It's easy to be affected by your fears, your hatred. I don't want to see that happen to you. You seem like such a nice little squee. It must be nice to still have the opportunity to save the cohesion of your pretty mind. The best some people can hope for is to better manage their damage. I'll be on my way now. I still have a few things to take care of before I leave. Hey, I'm going out the window this time, okay? The underground tunnel's gotten a bit thick with corpses. Good luck, squee. Sleep tight! And he's been eating grass for the last three hours. Hmm. He's a sick man. I will talk to him. Hey, you! Stop eating the grass! This isn't some kind of grass-eating kind of place where you can eat grass! Hear me! I am the law! Too late! My mighty stomach chambers have already processed the grass people in delicious grade-A milk! I milk on thee! Look! He's pissing on us! The hedgehog! Utenjiu! The omidito! Gozaimzu! You nibbler of damn beaver nuts! Quick, stop him before he pees again! I am a woman of peace, so it hurts me to use even this minimal force! Story time with Happy Little Boy! So, once, the little girl was playing Uncle Wiggly, and something went wrong. Kill it, bees! You don't know what a rash is! Look at my thighs! A million cows came flying in from within the void! I hate this fucking commercial! Banana quick! I missed banana quick! The zoo chases me, but they won't win! So, she's playing Uncle Wiggly, and her diaper needs changing, cause she's 87 years old, and there's bits of carrots in it, and a scary baboon! Fly! Carbon blood flactory old teen hump! 
Stand back from my funky self. You think, but you're not plywood. I love you, my little exit wound. The end. Dear diary, the passions that drive us should be the ones we respect and admire. To feel contempt for one's own motivations is a vulgar thing. Too often, it seems, I've succumbed to less than admirable compulsions. Driven by this furiously reprehensible machine of mine, so many things inside that I could do without. Desires and urges and whatnot. So extraneous. By the time I write in this book again, I hope to be as cold as the moon that lights this page.